Going Mobile with CFS Going Mobile is a feature of CFS that will allow a mobile workstation on your office network to use CFS when not logged into the network. The mobile feature will make a copy of your CFS files for estimating and store them on your local computer. If you are using CFS as a standalone, then there is no need to use mobile mode. If you are using CFS as a workstation on a network, then you need to go into mobile mode before you take your computer out of the office. If you try to use a CFS workstation outside of your network without first going mobile, then you will receive an error because the program cannot access your network. Going mobile will allow you to use most of your CFS programs away from the office and is a fairly simple process. First, we'll go to the Utilities tab, then select the Sync button. You should automatically be on the tab that says Go Mobile. Now let's talk about what folders you should select when you go mobile. Select the Pick folder if you have added pictures beyond the standard release and would like to be able to print the parts catalog while out of the office. Select the Job folder if you would like access to previously created jobs, which will include job estimates and sketches. Select the Draw folder for access to previously saved shop drawings. It is very important that you select the Data folder the first time that you go mobile and each time that you update to a new version. The data folder contains your company logo and background images. Select the Quick Draw Save file if you'd like access to previously done multi-style Quick Draw drawings. The more files that you select to take into the field, the longer syncing to mobile may take. Once you've selected the files that you want, click Sync. Allow the Sync Utility time to complete the process. Once it is complete, your CFS main menu will say Mobile in the lower right hand corner. When you return from the field and you're back in the office, you'll want to sync back into the network. This way, you'll have access to the most updated version of your CFS data and you'll be able to use all of your CFS programs. To sync back into the network, Go to your Utilities tab and select the Sync button. You will automatically be on the Sync into Network tab. The program will detect any new CFS job files that have been created while in mobile mode. Click the Sync Back into Network button on the right hand side of the program. This will move all of your newly created files back into your shared data location on the network and put your CFS back into workstation mode. If you edited a file that was already in the job folder while in the field, you will receive this message when you try to sync back in. A file with the same name was detected during synchronization. Would you like to replace the file on the server with the file on your system? To replace the file on the server, simply click Replace. If you don't want to replace the original file, you can click Skip, and then manually rename and move the edited file, which will be saved in the CFS job folder on your C drive. Again, allow the sync utility time to process. Once it is done, your CFS main menu will say Workstation in the lower right hand corner. Mobile mode is great for being able to work on jobs from a distance, 
but there are some programs that you will not have access to while in mobile mode. You won't be able to use Update Master File, Setup Programs, or the Cash Register program. Certain features of other programs will also be disabled, including inventory features, job schedule features, and modifying discount or sales taxes. In general, you won't be able to update prices, schedule jobs, create invoices, or change records while in mobile mode. More information about using mobile mode can be found in your CFS manual.